All right, welcome to the Facebook Live. We are backstage here at R&B Fridays Live at High Sense Arena. This is the final show. It's going around the country, and uh, Melbourne is going to uh, show the rest of Australia how it's done. We are going to be here backstage. All oh, I got to turn this on mute. Hang on. We are going to be uh, talking to a lot of the artists on stage here backstage before they get on. And first of all, we got Kevin Little. Welcome. How yeah, you doing? Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. I'm fine. Thank you for having me. It's great to have you here. And uh, oh, this this is the fifth show. You've been around yeah. Australia. Are you yeah. pretty? Are you tired after doing all these shows? You've been to <laughs> Sydney, Perth, Adelaide. I wish I can be tired. I can't be tired <laughs> because I got like about 20 other appearances to do for the next three weeks in the whole of wow, Australia. Wow, you're a busy guy. Yeah. Well, you know, the thing is, it's my first time touring Australia. So, um, you know, we took the opportunity to do a lot because it's been 15 years of turned me on and I've never really performed or toured in Australia before. Really? Have you been yes. to Australia or have you visited yes, for any I've reason? Yes, I've been here for reasons yep. like um, in transit or yep. overnight for something or, you know, um, I, I did one show here a few years ago for an African club, but I've never done a full tour where, you know, I, I cover the full range of cultures in Australia and meet, you know, everybody yeah. get to see me in person. Has it been pretty exciting? What's the vibe been like um, been from your shows so far? extremely exciting, you know, because I got this new single that I put put out live on stage and you know the response was instantly um you know electric people love the song it's called slow yeah. motion so i'm very excited to present it to melbourne this evening also can't wait to hear it yeah um by the way people watching on the facebook live if you've got any questions for any of our guests tonight including kevin little or you want to yeah. shout out or whatever just comment put it in the comments i've got the comments on this ipad here so if you want any questions for kevin little just let us know um turn me on was like is, is a massive song what's yeah. it like to have a song that lasts for like 15 years when you come <laughs> out and you sing the words straight away like as soon as it starts playing those first like couple of bars everyone yeah. knows the song and recognizes it do yeah. you ever get tired of that feeling or is it still pretty amazing well you know as a human being everything weighs on you after a time you keep doing yeah. it <laughs> over and over yeah but you know i can never underestimate what the song has done for me and you know when it does wear on me i remember that yo this was the thing that got me to where I am today, and it reinvigorates me. You know, I'm I'm just very blessed and thankful for what it it, it has done for me. You know, what the mm. universe has blessed me with. Yeah. Was it a track when you recorded it that you knew was a hit that was going to last this long? Did you At put first, it, put it no. down? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so like you put it out, and you're like, okay, this is going to be. I'm going to be touring in Australia, performing this in 15 years' time. This is uh, an absolute jam. I wish I could say that, but that's not the case. You know, when I did turn me on, I did turn me on with the intention to create a a. a way for soca music to cross over um the song is a fusion of different styles of soca in the caribbean there's a style called zook that's also in turn me on um there's there's the dance hall aspect of it and then there's the international aspect of it which, which is r&b yeah so there's like four different fusions of, mm. of genres in turn me on that made the song be what it is today and it's a mm. formula that is actually back because now you're hearing people like justin bieber singing sorry with the same type of vibe and the same type of um, card structures and all this kind of stuff too you know yeah a lot of songs we got a yeah. question from adrian caterino on the facebook page says what's the best thing about touring australia obviously this is your first time out here <laughs> touring what do you reckon have you got an answer uh well you know so far it's the exposure you know i um i haven't done capacity size audiences like this in a mm. long time so it's very exciting for me um you know i did a few in the united states this year also but to do so much on a straight was really you know exciting and and very eye-opening for me with my new project also yeah uh one more thing i wanted to touch on is again we talked about turn me on and how it's a huge um track that's you know stood the test of time yeah um and it's recently been remixed there's a whole like wave of old r&b songs now that are being yeah. remixed as like tropical house kind of songs yeah, and yeah. cheat codes re-released your track yeah. and straight away as soon as they re-release it they just put a beat under it and it goes it gets back into the charts again it's like yeah. in the top 10 yeah straight away what did you think about that did you you've obviously heard it i imagine no i own oh, you it oh you want okay <laughs> yeah there you go i own it you know it's um, yeah. my publishing it's my music that yeah they're yeah because they're um, using so so you know so it gets back on radio uh, and you're just yeah. like yeah <laughs> yeah you know it had 150 million streams on spotify but you know i actually own turn me on i wrote the song yeah and i own the music for the song so anyone else there that wants to remix <laughs> yeah. kevin little's tracks and just publish them and you know get him some more royalty checks <laughs> great feel free <laughs> you're very much welcome <laughs> to do it <laughs> uh if you have any other questions for any of our guests tonight we're going to be here talking to most of the artists backstage so fire them through and we'll do it but you can hear uh, above us the crowd is ready for you so kevin little thank you for dropping by we'll All let right, you get man. up there thanks thank man you.